Hello friends, Tony here. Now, right now we need to add validation because our form doesn't have. So if I click in the submit button without typing the title, slug or the description, we're going to have the error. So if I click now here, yeah, the column title cannot be null and to avoid uh, storing incomplete or dangerous user input, most forms need some sort of uh, input validation. And the live wire makes validating your forms as simple as adding the rule attribute above the properties you want to be validated. So for example, if I open the VS code here in our project, we have the public title. What we need to validate this title is just adding the attribute rule. So let's say rule like this and we need and we need to import the rule. So let's import that from the live wire attributes rule. Okay, import that rule. And now we need to specify the rule. So in our case, I'm going to say just uh, required right now. Now by adding this rule and if I click in here, nothing is going to change because yeah, we are going to have the column cannot be null because we need to call the validate method in the save method okay so here we can say dollar sign this validate as is suggesting us and now if i save that and refresh and hit submit nothing changed so we don't have not that uh, error but we need to display the error so we need to modify the blade of our form and let's open the tasks index here when we have the title we can say let's add a div and in this div i'm going to add yeah something like this if we have the error for the title add the span with class text red 500 and maybe i'm going to say also text to be small and display the message now if i save that so by adding this div with the error now and because also we added in the class that rule required, if I refresh and say submit, yeah, the title field is required. And if I specify also one more uh, rule, for example, to be minimum of five characters, I'm going to say, and if I save and type something here, but less than uh, five characters so for example i'm going to add only three characters and say submit yeah the title field must be at least five characters okay and let's do the same for or for others so for title so i'm going to add also the same for the slug Now, for the description, is going to be minimum of uh, 20 or 200 is better, but I'm not going to add 200 characters. And uh, also the status and the priority and the date deadline. Now, for the status, we don't need the min 5. is going to be required also the priority is going to be required and the deadline is going to be only required what i need is so let's save this first and i'm going to open the task model and add casts for our uh, status priority and the deadline so let's open the task model and after the fillable I'm going to say protected casts and let's close this and add here the deadline which is going to be date then the priority and the status not integer but we are going to add the enums so the priority is going to be priority type class so let's say priority type and the same also for the status 
So let's say status type class. And now we are okay with the task. Let's go here. Also, we are okay with the validation. And let's refresh. Let's say submit. We have the title field is required. Let's add also the errors in the blade for all. So I'm going to copy this div and just change the title. So for example, here we have the slug. Let's paste it here and change this to be slug for the description, also the B description and so on. You can skip this. Okay, so I added for all of them. Now let's come here and refresh and let's say submit. And yeah, we have all the errors. But as you can see, we have tasks here and tasks here. So let's do that also where, yeah, we have this task. So I'm going to remove and maybe add some classes to this one. So text to be to Excel and font to be semi-bold and let's save yeah now we have tasks here with title and so on but now as i told you in the previous video let's extract the form object so if you are working with a large form and prefer to extract all of its properties validation logic etc into a separate class Livewire offer the form objects and form objects allow you to reuse the form logic across components and provide a nice way to keep uh, your component class cleaner by grouping all form related code in a separate class. So if you want the, this task index in this example to be more clean to remove all the logic for the form here, we can create the form object. Now to create a form object, let's open the terminal and here I have the npm run dev. And this one I'm going to clean and I'm going to say php artisan. Now to create a form, we need to say livewire colon for and give it the name. In this case, I'm going to say task for. Just specify correctly, hit enter and inside the app live wire forms now in the forms directory we have this task form class created successfully let's close this and in the live wire we have a forms directory and here is the task for let's move now the logic of the form in this one let's go to the task index and let's copy all of the properties let scroll up and yeah we have title, priority, and the deadline. Cut them and come here and paste it in the form. And now in the task index, we remove that. What we need to do is to inject the form. So we can say public task form to be dollar sign form. And here we say this validate, okay, then auth user task create and not this only the title because the title is not now inside here, but we can say, so let's say dollar sign this for all, so we can say it like this. Let's save also 
All right, now if I open here and refresh, and let's say submit, as you can see, nothing happened because in tasks index, we need to make some changes also. Now we say wire model title, but we don't have the title in the tasks index. We have that in the form and we injected the form as dollar sign for. For that, we need to say here wire model for dot title. Now, if you have a created if you have worked with uh, Vue.js and you have defined the form with all properties, the same we have also here. Form.title using the dot notation. And let's copy that and do the same also for the error and for the others. Okay, so I added the form to all of them, the form.deadline and so on. And let's come and refresh. Now, if I click submit, yeah, we have the title field is required and all of them. Refresh again. Let's use the fake filter here to see if we can create the task. And also let's open the table plus and see on the tasks. Refresh, we have only three. Now if I click submit, nothing changed. But if I come here and refresh, we have a new task as you can see. Okay, good. Now as you can see, it's not clean in the inputs because in task index we say this reset but here is not going to reset anything because we don't have the properties in this task we have them in the task for so what we can do we can say this for our reset and now if i save that and come here and refresh fake filler again submit yeah we need to add more characters in the description and let's submit again and now it's clean the it's clean the input and also if i open here and refresh we have a new task now also we can extract the creation logic in the form object so this one for example we can cut this go to the task form and here let's say create the method and i'm going to say create task and paste this logic but not this form all just this all we can say save this and then in the task index here on the save we can call that we can say this validate and then also this form not save but we have here uh, create task so let's copy that and paste it here. And let's try now. Refresh. I use the fake filler. Submit is cleaning. And of course, if I come here and refresh, we have a new task. Okay, friends. And I think now we have more uh, clean task index. So we just inject the four. We say, create the method save. And in this method, we just say this validate this form and calling the create task and then this form reset and that's it okay friends that's it all about this video now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much